Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on the Blender Builder channel. So in today's video, we're going to be going over how to add color in Blender. So we're going to be turning this right here into this. Also, if you're new to Blender, make sure to check out the video in the top right corner. That'll help you with the basics, especially if you're like a new beginner. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. So the first way to add color in Blender is through going to the material step. So right here, I made this gold coin. Uh, I use a little reference right here. As you can tell, it's very much based off of this coin. So as you can see right here, the color of the coin is completely bland. It's just, this is just the default color in Blender. So the first thing you want to do is click on this right here. This is the materials property tab. And now I press new. And go down here to base color and change it to since we want it to be a gold coin change it to a somewhat gold color so you may be thinking what the hell so if you want your colors to look more realistic or to suit whatever you're going for more scroll down and look at these options here so the two main options that i personally use most are metallic which makes it obviously look more metallic as you can see right here and roughness which makes it look much shinier so when you mess with the roughness you gotta make sure that you make it too smooth you look make it too smooth then it's just like a reflection basically so i'd recommend um uh, let's see right you just gotta keep tweaking it back and forth until you get a good spot and also work with the metallic feature so you don't want to go full metallic you know what maybe maybe i should go metallic <laughs> Okay, so I think the color here should be good for now. I might tweak it a little bit at the end. But let's say you want to have multiple colors in one object. So let's say you want to have this clover be green instead. I don't know if this is going to look good or not, but let's, we'll go see. So first thing you want to do is you click on the object, press this plus button right here. This creates a new material. And so uh, press add new material. And now basically do the same thing. So you make the color, except now the color is not going to go straight to it. So maybe thinking, Wait, Blender Builder, where's the green on the object? What you have to do is you have to select the objects, select the faces which you want to have the color. Yes, sir. Huh? <laughs> Sensational. Okay, so now that you have whatever you want to change colors selected all you have to do is go to the color which you want to assign and click on it over here assign so now we'll go out this right here it's green so as you can see i fully colored my golden coin right now and so um i've got my gold right here i've got my clover in the middle and so this is the first way which you can change the color so as you can see, I got another coin, the same as that coin, just no color. So, the second method to add color, you start off in the materials tab as well. So, material properties, new, except you press this right here next to the base color, this yellow button, press it, and you change it to an image texture. So now it goes completely black. Like a bird. This is because Chicken there's nugget. no image. For it to be textured with so now you press open and I'll take you to your files okay so now you may be wondering what the hell but I just added a color palette which is I just downloaded it off of Google Bruh. Uh, so after you add your color palette or your colors or whatever I want you to go to the UV editing tab and so from here you can see this is the full color palette and so now what you want to do is press Z and go to material preview. This way you can see the colors. When you're in um, solid or wireframe, you can't see the colors. But in material preview and render, you can see the colors. So now in material preview, select all. And over here on the left side where the color palette is, press all to select all the vertices here. S, zero. And what this does, it condenses all the different vertices into one spot. So we can use this for is giving everything the same color. So we want our golden color for our golden coin. 
So you can really just play around with it. Um, also, if you deselect for whatever reason from your vertices, just come back over here on the right side. Press A, and the little vertice right here will pop back up. Alright, I'm gonna be honest. Couldn't find a good color, but um. So now, once you have this, you can add another color. So the same process as before, um, except it's slightly different. So add a new material, plus new, base color, image texture. However, now that you already have imported this color palette or your texture or whatever, you can just press this button right here, browse images, and right here, you find this. And so now it has a color palette. The second material has that color palette that you were looking for. So now you go in edit mode and select the part that you want to change the color of. So now you select your object that you want to change the color of. You can go to the material, the second material that you added. So for me, material four. So now you select the faces over here and the color over here. You can drag this wherever. And this will change the colors of whatever you select. So let's say you want this color green. I'm looking for more shamrock green. Now we have more control. So maybe a little bit lighter, a little darker. Eventually. Okay, so this is the green that we're gonna end up with. And so now we have our finished product. So also. If you want to change the texture, like before, you can click on the material you want to change the texture of, and you can scroll down to the metallic tab and make it more metallic, um, make it less rough. So that is the second way to change the colors of an object in Blender. So let me just go back to the layout tab. And so now we can compare two of these. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> This one looks better. Bruh. Comment down below which method you guys prefer and which one of these coins look better. But that's all for today's video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and if you guys enjoy the video, make tell your friends. Do whatever you can to support the channel. And so with all that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much.